Hey, welcome back to New Zero Lands. So we're heading up to the racetrack this weekend, but first I need to do an oil change on my Energica. And right now you're saying, what oil change on an electric motorcycle? That isn't it. Nah, you guys watched my other video. You know what's going on. Energica is a liquid cooled and every once in a while you have to drain that liquid and put new liquid in. But this time it's quite a bit different. So with this new EMCE system, the motor and controller use coolant from the radiator and the reduction gearbox is totally separate from that, still using transmission fluid like the old one. On page 112 of the manual, in the service intervals at 1000 kilometers, it says all you have to do is change the gearbox oil. Old stuff comes out of here, new stuff goes into here, and Bob's your uncle. Why do we say that? Who is Bob? Page 74 has all the info you need to do the services. And it's super short because there isn't much to do. Yeah, I thought that was more involved in the first service, but apparently you don't need to change the motor and controller coolant for the first 45,000 kilometers. So, years. The gearbox uses 0.125 liters of transmission fluid, which is this much. YouTube says 28% of my viewers are American, so that's 4.23 ounces. For alcoholics, that's 0.22 pints. But yeah, that's it. This container is going to last me 10 years. You can see through this little window that it's about half full, so I'm guessing it'll be about half full at the end of this too. Alright, time me. You can probably tell by how short this video is, the new oil change process is a million times easier and I was surprised by how little time it took. Don't worry, I'll make up for it in the next video. It's gonna be super long. So you might be writing a comment asking why the motor needs coolant, and the answer is performance. No overheating no matter how hard you ride, no matter how many laps you do, as you'll see in our next video. That's the benefit of buying a bike that was built for racing. All those years of pushing things to their limits have trickled down into road bikes that are basically indestructible. Don't forget to change your crush washers. And they use a reduction gear because the motor is too big to fit down right in front of the swing arm, so they had to move it up. It also gave Energica more control over gearing. But before someone asks, no, there's no shifting. It's not that kind of gearbox. And this is also where Energicas get their distinct sound. It was engineered like this to replace the sound of an engine with something unique. And it makes Moto E more fun to watch. Here's a clip from our upcoming track day. Some people hate the sounds. I personally love it. Sounds like something from Star Wars. And that makes me happy. And that's it, you're done. Look at all that fresh fluid in the window. Was that so hard that you bought a zero instead? So yeah, that's it. No taking off fairings, just unbolt some stuff. It took me like five minutes. Uh, anybody could do this. If I can do it, you can do it. It's like, it's just so simple. The new system is so much better than the old one. If you wanna see how oil changes used to work on the old Energicus, check out this video. It's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, um, and I don't have to do this again for another 30,000 kilometers, which is just insane. Um, and now the bike is ready for a track day, so get ready for the next video with some fun performance riding super fast. Hopefully they don't crash. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.